in this video we are going to be camping in a little farm woods in Bladen, Newcastle. We are going to be eating very delicious food and drinking beer. Lots, lots of beer. And this was a pretty physical test for me and my dad because we are very new to this stuff. And if you saw new around here, my name's Aaron. Welcome to the channel. This is going to be funny. We, uh, we've tried to bring the car up here, but uh, the micro's not going to handle it very well. Uh, we nearly got stuck just there. So we don't have to turn around and park all the way down there. Now, there is a few issues with this place. I'm hoping my dad doesn't crash, by the way. There is a few issues that we've run into, but camp is pretty far away from where we are. It is all the way through them woods. And we, uh, basically, this has been a place for ages, and they've run out of wood, like sort of dead wood. Um, there's not a lot of it left. So we're having to bring our own wood with us. The only problem with that is wood's pretty heavy to carry. And we're having to carry, obviously, with tents, with stools, like seats, uh, the food, everything like that, with backpacks. And it's pretty far. And it, the terrain is absolutely dreadful. We've been here like an hour so far and we've had to make like three separate trips. Um, so that's not great, but yeah, I, I can't wait to show you the actual camp. Um, and the last time I was here, it's 10 years ago. And funnily enough, the pitch that we've been given is actually the pitch I was at 10 years ago. So I was eight years old the last time, I'm now 18. It's nice to be back. It's literally, uh, the people who own the place, their house is all the way down there, we'll come up through there. And we have to go all the way in it. It's all the way down that way. It's not even straight down there, it's all the way down there. It is very far and the terrain isn't great. I'm already, absolutely soaked and clotted in mud but yes my dad is now on the way back we're, we've brought five bags of wood which should be enough on top of our backpacks with all the stuff in i have a separate bag with food uh, we've got some steaks to cook tonight which will be pretty nice ribeye steaks uh drizzle some olive oil on the only thing i forgot is seasoning which is a very key thing that goes into a steak but you know yeah i forgot seasoning also wore too many layers i've got this jim king like under all my on, I've got my birdhouse fleece as well as the Jello jacket, and I was absolutely drenched in sweat uh, on the way there. So I've had to ditch all my layers down there. We've took, I think, three bags of wood so far. We've still got two more bags, and we also have to walk through fucking cows, which, believe it or not, kill a lot of humans each year. So I'm not really looking forward to that either. So we've had to come all the way up that hill. Terrain isn't very easy on your feet. Right, we've just had to carry all that down. Me and Baz literally took like an hour, but the place isn't too bad. The path's literally just there, but we've got this whole area to ourselves. I remember coming here 10 years ago with my football club. Um, and yeah, I think we sat like a six man or eight man tent up just there. I had the fire on, literally there where all them stones are, uh, it's mint. But yeah, there's some other people over down there, which is not the best like. So this is how we are getting on with the waterproof tarpaulin. Bear in mind, this was £45 for that. It's not that spacious on the inside, but it will keep you dry. It is meant to rain a tiny bit today. And it's just not raining. This is what we've got so far. Basic two man tent. Has the tarpaulin been waterproof? <laughs> so I moved everything underneath, and this is meant to be waterproof. Um, yeah. I suppose it'll keep the water off you. But. You would have never fit the tent underneath the top hole. But this is, but how how old would you say this tent is, boss? It's about, well, last time I used it, you were here with a football. And that's about 10 or 11 years ago. Long, long time. 
I think the fire. Let me just shut up. Yeah, but we need a cover over the fire. So this tent as well, you put the outer bit up first. So we've still got to put the inside of the tent up, but pretty spacious to be fair. It has stopped raining, it only rained for five, ten minutes. Um, but it's going to rain again in another hour. It's two o'clock right now. And it's going to rain again at three until about five. So we're going to have like two hours of straight rain, which isn't great. And I don't get that good of a connection out here. It's swapping between three and four G, um, which isn't great. We've even ended up setting the chairs up. It's kind of all set up like. Very kind of, probably have the fire there. Or on top of our tree stump. But it's very, very nice. The only problem is it's going to rain for like literal three hours straight in about an hour's time. But all this space is for us. We didn't even need to be this high up. There's just no possible way you'd be able to get and this I might grab down on. Dad, I know you're watching this. You, you need an off-road car. <laughs> no. The only problem is as well, you can't obviously chop trees down because someone owns all of the land. Uh, so that's why I've had to bring warm bags of wood, which was the worst thing to carry down. <laughs> this is actually, it's fucking sound is. Even got me some. A little pasty. It's not bad. That'll do. And also now finally test out the uh, Galert sleeping bag. Dad's already got his set up in there. It's not Galert, this is. Uh... So, that is that set up. I think it's actually longer than me does. Um, it's not bad. Just air it out a bit. <laughs> the top's come in handy. Like. <laughs> it's just mint, this. It is just sort of absolutely lashing it down. Not moving, let's uh, tell you what, though. You can tell it's waterproof. Mint. I'm going to some YouTube videos, I'll get it put up properly. You need to get this on camera. You can tell that this waterproof is just, it's absolutely pissing there. But my tent's waterproof. My top is more than waterproof. Mate, it is a good idea that we cut this top. It is pissing down. Good thing is, I'm completely dry. And then the top is like fully, fully waterproof. Jesus. It, it's oh, it's mental. So we've sat in there for about fifteen minutes, and now it stopped raining, but everything's soaked. The tops actually changed colour. Uh -huh. That's mental. So we've managed to gather some. Stones that were just over there and over there, and now set up a little fire pit. How do you actually? Do you just put all the wood in there, or do you have to put another layer first? Put some small thin ones down first, and use the fire lighter on them. Right, we're going on a one, and I've had to put the Gilbert waterproof jacket on. Going on a little one dive round. It is called Brockwell Woods, isn't it? Buddy? 
Brockwell Woods. Which isn't... How long did it take to get here? Literally like 15 minutes, 15 maybe. Minutes. Uh, from where we live, at least. This is each campsite labelled, as you can see. We just got... We've walked past a few already, actually. It's starting to rain pretty heavily again. Very heavy, actually. <laughs> Up now apparently there's 26 kilometers of uh, wood, which is pretty big, I think. Your jacket's not waterproof, is it, boss? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. I swear it's not, you know. It is. You can tell mine is, isn't it? it. Welcome. You can sort of see where people have lost camped. What the fire pit you've got. Just string up there. I think last time I come here with bars, it started raining that bad. They were physically just couldn't get the tent or anything set up. And obviously you couldn't start fire. Obviously then we didn't have like the tarp or anything. Probably didn't have waterproof jackets either. So I kind of bollocked and had to go home. Oh it's fine. Raining pretty heavily now. What's? Oh dear. But I'm completely waterproof down. Which is good. Not ideal. Very good job that we've got the top because yeah, your tent's waterproof and you can put everything in that. But that's the issue with actually getting yourself into the tent. So we got the top at the right time. The only thing is. Need to learn how to put them up like properly. So the way we've done is just kind of hide up. So it would have been bad if I didn't have it up in this rain storm. So the current situation, people, it's been raining for literally an hour straight, but my dad has now got some canned potatoes on. I'm gonna can a few in there. Mm -hmm. so, and he's putting some stewed steak. Do you reckon I'd like that? Try it. I suppose I can. If you don't eat it, I'll Just can eat that. I actually feel a bit with to be fair. setup is looking lovely. Beef stew, whatever, with tatties, up with, with tins. Tell you what, people. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> Warm food. And it's still raining somehow. Well, the rain has eventually stopped, and now the sun's come out. England fine. Well, I'm gonna have a little lie down, charge my phone for the first time today. Uh, right, very spacious to be fair, with my Gillette sleeping bag. So we've got about two more hours of sunlight, so I'd imagine we'll be putting on the fire pretty soon. Incredible. It's nice and cosy in this tent as well. Amazing. I forgot with the toothpaste that I have from my dentist, I meant to brush my teeth three times a day, so 
I'm now about to brush my teeth in the wild. I'll tell you what, the setup yet even better. I'm just gonna be a little bag which I've shown in a, a previous video on the other channel. Got my toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, flint and steel. We've got little deodorant which I didn't even want, but it was in with a deal of buying the miniature things. Water purification tablets and lots of us. So I need to put them on before I put my shoes back on. I think the only thing I'm finding uncomfortable here is these are waterproof, but when you sit in them and line them for a while, the water does just sort of sink through, and I don't have any spare bombs. Yeah, just a little bamboo toothbrush. You can get a pack of five on Amazon for like, I think it was like three quid or something. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it on the little poly pocket thing with some cotton gear tool. That does the job. Current situation. So the rain was just a little short, but this is what uh, my dad's end up doing. So he had another piece of tarp. Um, I've just strung it to four different trees. And four, yeah. Um, so that'll keep the fire uh, dry at least. But it is currently half five, so it'll be getting dark in literally like half an hour-ish. Uh, so it's pretty bright now. By the next time I've hit the camera, it might be dark. Also, my power bank is dreadful for some reason. It used to be really good. Um, so I might need to buy a new one. If my phone dies and you don't see the end of this trip, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, yeah, we're getting a tin over. Right, so we've got... Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Christ. Right. Right, so two ribeyes, some olive oil. That's some extra that we had in the house. This is a new bottle. Obviously, a kook. Um, the ribeyes in. Uh, four pack of madri for me, four pack of corn for me. Duh. Tastes like piss. Madri is far more superior, by the way. Yeah, that's, uh, that's with tea. Tell you what. This might be my favourite part of the video, lads. Beer. By the way, a far more superior beer than Colin. But, uh, it was lovely. I was just saying to my dad that it's mental because the last time I came here I would have been eight, nine years old-ish, maybe even ten. Never touched alcohol in my life or anything and now the next time I'm here, I'm sitting having a bloody beer with me dad in front of a campfire. Doesn't get much better than that. It does doesn't. Okay, everybody, I thought we had a massive problem. The steaks that I bought today, under my head, like my torch light on this, they're green for some reason. Um, so when I, I shine this, it won't come up on this camera, obviously, but in real life, the steaks are green. But then I've just looked on my phone light and the steaks are just normal colour. So I guess we're going to cook the steaks. I thought they'd gone off for a second. Tell you what, lads. Steaks are on now. Sizzling away. It is completely pitch black. Obviously, I've got my phone light on. As well as if I put my headlight on. That makes it a little bit better. Um, but it is pitch black. situation. Do you want me headlight? That is unreal. 
probably stuck back. Right, steak cooked on a fire. It's absolutely lovely. Wow. Currently hot, so the worst night's sleep I've ever had. I must have only gotten about two or three hours sleep. I'm being quiet. There's a camp right next to us. With all the and they're still asleep. So I'm sorry if you can't hear us. It's a very nice view.